Hello everyone and welcome to Super Mash, given to me by the amazing people at Digital Continue. Now, people might be thinking this is Super Smash Bros, it really isn't. What this game is, is where you mash two genres together to create a brand new game. Nice little intro, everyone looks happy. That person reminds me, that, that woman on the right reminds me of someone, but I can't think who. Oh, sad face. Oh, happy, happy times. Jolly good. Testing. Is this thing on? Oh, voice acting. The whole thing started a few months ago. It was a typical Saturday morning with my yeah. sis, looking for games at a local garage. I look very center. strange from over there. As we were about to leave, I spotted this kid begging his parents for a busted up original G player. <laughs> Heard them Makes me think of my old Game Boy. Spoiled kid would have thrown a Which fit. Which you got stolen I from me, there you go. quietly walk away. Something inside said really to nice give him my G player axe. Kid looked at so me yeah, like it was Game Christmas Boy's or something. Red one. The owner of the house was watching me, and she handed over a, a giant box of play type too. cards and oh, wow. some hardware. Looked like a bunch of amazing junk at the time. Isn't that how it always is? That was the same day our landlord stopped by. People throw he out stuff the and then realize, oh wait, one it's worth a lot. Jume was devastated. Jume. She spent the last four years of her never life building seen that the name shop. Before. In the span of a few minutes, you may or June, but never Jume. Oh well, I'm gonna tell you every day. Honestly, if it wasn't for my friend Rob digging through the box, we might have forgotten all about it. And what happened next changed our lives forever. Ah. Yes. Why am I recording this? Well, we've gotten ourselves into something deep, and this is what the hero always does in the movies. Let me tell you about the Mash Machine. I was thinking potato, potato mash just then. I don't know why. Anyway, that was a nice little intro. And let's see how the rest of this goes. It works! What did you do? Oh, his name's Tomo. Okay. Uh, just put in the carts. But well, we tried that earlier. It doesn't, it didn't work. Carts or cards? You put in both? Um, no, only one. Why would you put two carts in at the same time? Again, that I swear that should be cards, not cards, but... Never mind. It's a developer's choice. Let's go with it. I don't know, but this is pretty fun. Zany, but fun. Okay, let's see what we can come up with. So, look at the back of the cards. You'll have a genre label and a bunch of numbers. What genre should we slot in? Okay, so let's just go with what the game shows us first of all. So then we'll go with platformer. And... Self. Okay, this could be fun. Let's see what this goes. Play type game machine. Reminds me of the old um, Super Nintendo stuff. Super skedaddling jaunt. That's the time for Super Favorite Wrestle one. Okay. How do I? Oh, I have to. The, the, the controls are a bit funny. I, I had to use my mouse just then rather than the keyboard. With all this jumping and climbing, I'm surprised the inhabitants of this world haven't invented planes. And really, why is it deal with opening boxes by jumping into them? Well, I think that's onto them rather than into them. I didn't expect going to reach the exit in under 10 minutes would result in so much head trauma. Right, so I just need to get to the exit. Okay, in under 10 minutes. Well, seems reasonable. Considering how you play like Sonic and Mario and it tends to be, um, You don't need 10 minutes to reach the end. I have grenades. Okay, so wall jump, wall hang, double jump. Okay. Seems reasonable. I look like a cube of ice. I'm invulnerable. Does that mean I don't get damage? Uh, uh, oh, there. Oh, oh! You're invulnerable. I wonder how long it'll last for. Pretty sure that happened when I turned right. Ah, uh, it's one of these. Okay. Oh, go away. Oh yeah, wall hang. <laughs> well done, me. Why am I finding this so difficult? What is what is my deal with this game? All right, let's go here. Okay. That heart. All right, let's go this way. See, we'll do it this way. I don't know what that A did. 
But it did something. Can I go down here? No? Who are you? Go away. Uh, where do I go from here? Oh, down here? Ooh. I, I should probably be collecting those. <laughs> I'm not falling for that. I know that if I... That, is that a gun? That's a gun. You found an assault rifle. Yes, I did. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay, I must remember to double jump more. Uh, what happened to it? Ah. Ah. Uh, what did I just press? Oh. Wait. Um. Guys. Oh, hang on. That was just lucky. I'm just gonna hang out on you guys. Uh, yeah. <gasps> that nearly knocked me off. I could have died again. Um, <laughs> is that meant to happen? <gasps> no, no. Oh, I was doing so well. What's death cards? Oh. Ah. I'm usually not this bad at games. I don't know what's wrong with me. I, I don't know. Oh, no, we're doing this again. Okay. So, wait, do I have to... Before I go back, do I have to actually finish the level? Or is there a way I can skip? Oh, I can skip the intro again, which is good. Okay, let's see what I get this time. Okay, same as last time. Same as last time. Same as last time. Okay, so those don't change. Reach the exit in under 10 minutes. That's if I don't mess up again. Whee! Oh, that is a checkpoint, I think. Yes. Oh, I may have... Oh, I may have screwed up. Hang on. No. Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. Okay. I'm scared about that cube. Is it in love with me? I'm invulnerable. Go away. So, if I'm invulnerable, do I really need that gun? Oh, this is a bad spot to stand, isn't it? Can I stand? Um, I... Okay, that, that may have been my fault. This reminds me a lot of, um, Mario, where, um, I can't remember exactly what maps it is, or what levels, rather, where it's side-scrolling and you have to keep moving. And, um, you had a chance of being pushed into lava and stuff. Does anyone remember those levels? Or is it all in my imagination? <gasps> Go away! Thank you. Oh. Devs? I think I broke your game. Oh, maybe not. Uh, what happens if I press quit? Will this get me out of the game? Oh, it got me out of the game. Okay. Alright, let's try another one. Mm, I don't want to do platformer. Let's do JRPG. And... Yeah, why not? To be honest, it said platformer and stealth in the last one. In what aspect was that stealth? Platformer, yes. Stealth? Uh, no, I didn't see that. Knuckle cracking kill. <laughs> okay. Let's see what this one says. Finally, there it was. The home of your enemy lay a mere day's journey away. The end of your quest. Mm, jolly good. Yeah, yeah. I like the end of quests. Through all this time you have prepared, gathering allies and friends, enduring rigorous challenges in order to defeat your enemy. Okay, so typical style of um, RPG. Very old style. You have but one final preparation to make. Become the renowned Podbear Slayer. Go forth and do not fail. Podbear Slayer? Um, okay. So in other words, it, I have to kill something. It's called a Podbear. I'm half expecting a bear in a um, gacha pod. Gacha capsule thing. Then again, my memory's a bit... Piper... 
Delcads? Pistol. Alright, let's see how this goes. Bonus health. Okay. I didn't even have time to move there. Oh, okay. This reminds me of Final Fantasy. And Piper looks surprisingly lo like Terra. And those look like Pokemon on the side. How about have you... Please, I don't need to worry too much about my health. Well, that's uh, good to know. But yeah, I'm getting Final Fantasy vibes. Um, that guy up top, the blue one, kind of reminds me of Metal Gear Solid. I'm not entirely sure why, but there you go. And those really do remind me of Pokemon. die already please ah heal that works for me uh is it how it keep me alive or are you guys just weak against this crap uh piper you need help hang on let's see what I've got there we go Did it just turn into a box? I have no idea what cat is. I'm gonna guess it's like gold. It is my finest pleasure to serve you today. Okay, let's buy one revive because I have a feeling that I, at some point, I'm going to really, really mess up. Oh, come on, let me check the chest. Okay, so these ones are slightly small. They'll actually run towards you. Um. Ooh, what's this? You defeated enough pod bears. You win. What? That was extremely short. You, can you even call that a game, to be honest? Like, I get it. The game said it was short. But there's short and there's ridiculously short. That is ridiculously short. Alright, let's try one more. Uh, JRPG? Okay, what's next? JRPG! Okay, let's see what happens if we put two of these together. Play type. Game machine. Ogre's Dawn. Oh, it's the same little guy from earlier. Ogre's Dawn. If I don't see one ogre in this game, I'm going to be very upset. Pretty characters, though. We almost made it undetected through Bell's Crossing, but an unfortunate encounter with local security nearly exposed our mission. They demanded that we kill ten monsters and we had no choice but to oblige. Escape at Bell's Crossing. Okay. Chapter 12. What happened to the other chapters? The cost to secure a clandestine sailing to Gloria was triple what we had on, on hand, and it took several weeks running odd jobs to secure the funds. However, it was all worth it as we felt our ship pull away from the docks in the dead of night, hoping against all that our comrades had fared well, as well as we had in their journey. Right, so what do I do on this one? Del Keros. Oh, is that the character's name? Del Keros? Training Axe. Okay, special abilities. Cinder and Blade. I'm going to guess, like last time, that's the name of any other... Ignore damage. Kill ten monsters. Huh. Now, this reminds me of Rising Sun. That's what I wanted to say. And he looks like a Pokemon trainer. <laughs> Cinder and Blade. Okay, so what have you guys got? Poison. Ooh. That might... Yeah, that will help with that one, because that one's a bit trickier. Can I... I, I have no summons. What is this abuse? Advance Hill. Okay. We have attack. That axe. I like that axe. What have you got? We've got all ice. Let's try all ice. That was easy enough. I don't have a chance to move. You know what? Let's just take this out easy enough. Oh, I can't. I've got no mana. Mana MP. I half expected him to throw something rather than use a mythical one. Again, why did it turn into boxes? Scorching lullaby? Blade is sleeping turn. Oh. Um, Blade, are you okay? 
Also, that those some of those creatures, they look like they've been done by MS Paint. I mean, it might just be the style they're going for, but it does remind me of MS Paint. No, no, go away. Go away. I want to look at chess. It's a bit finicky to go through. Uh, five. You just five. You're really going to give me just five cats. Who's that over there? Alright, let's see. I want to know who lost their helmet. Who gave that crab their helmet? Who messed up? Again, I really, really like the music. I'm not going to lie. I like the music. OST for this game, I might actually have to get it, because I really do enjoy the music right now. Oh, we leveled up. Awesome. What does that actually mean? So we've killed nine, we need to kill one more, I think it was. Let's talk to this one. Be the hero that we all wish we could be. I will save the world from devastation. Is that a penguin mole snail? You kill ten monsters, you win. music tokens what do you actually do with the tokens though well there's a gacha machine here a hundred how many mash games do you need to play in order to get a hundred i wonder i mean this this style shop this movement and everything reminds me of a lot of um youtube simulator youtuber YouTube. I'll put it on the. I'll put it anyway. I'll remember in a minute. Surely I will. Um, I like the different styles. I suppose the different styles are quite nice. Um, it's not my therapist told me to play a video game to help me with my anger management. Just make me a platformer mesh, okay? Yeah. All right. So a therapeutic platformer game. All right. Let's just try this and see how it goes. So platformer. Action adventure. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Play tight game machine. Ground beef wisdom. I want to know who came up with the names for some of these. Because that is just ground beef wisdom. Oh, please say there are some cows around here, please. Oh my god. The way that monster is smiling at you makes it look hungry. Okay. But it's jumping on it so you can collect 100 ket in, all, in under 10 minutes in safety. Still an okay thing to do. Hopefully, wherever it goes afterwards has lots of tasty things to eat. Things that conveniently aren't you. Right, okay. Rain. Okay, nice name. I like the name Rain. Kubatos. What? Dodge roll high jump. Okay. I still don't know how to use weapons. Collects 100k in under 10 minutes. Spawn currency. Wait. If it spawns currency, then that just. Okay. Alright. That might make the game too easy. Okay. So it's not gonna. Okay. So it's not going to um, try and kill me from the get go. Cash is spawning everywhere. Was it collecting coins that triggered that? This machine is spazzing out. Oh, wow, it is raining. Woo! Can I? Thank you. Oh. You look like a tree monster. Right, okay, so every time I collect money. It also rains money. That's an interesting one. Where is the next platform? Because I cannot see down below. Oh, that would explain a lot. 
Okay, those leaves, they should uh, actually be background. Because in most games you have like trees and stuff. And in most games it'll be like, yeah, yeah, you're, you can stay in the background. That was a gold one, dang it. I, how did I miss that? I could, yeah. I mean, I understand glitches in games, it happens. Um, it happens quite a lot. But the problem is, if you make a game way too easy like that, it takes the fun out of everything. It really does. Okay, hang on. Let's talk to this one. I feel like I'm having a breakdown, like I don't have to be angry all the time. Huh? Thanks. Oh, there we go. That's what she needed. She needed, she needed its own money. Almost much for your G74. Okay. So, you're also a game developer in a game. Pretty much. Okay. 67 coins. Yeah, I'm sure we'll get there eventually. Um. What's this? Mash code? Oh no, that's for sharing games. Credits? Uh, this is for the cards you collect. What's this? Prime Mash Journal. Hoover Kingdom. I, I I like this. For some reason, I really like the scratchy sounds. But I don't want to bash the game. I really don't. But when you're mixing something together and saying there's going to be stealth elements and there clearly isn't, you need to go back to the drawing board, rethink what is missing or how it's missing and work on including it if the game says it's going to include it. I mean, the concept is great. The idea of mashing two genres together willy-nilly to create something brand new in a game. Yeah, I accept that. I prefer, I you know, I really like that. But if the mashing highlights one thing over the other, then it's no fun. Also, um, I know that it says the levels are short, but in this instance, they are way too short. You can't always grasp what's going on. You can't always get a feel for what's going on, per se. I mean, I get it. You're supposed to be testing it out just to make sure it works, blah, 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 yada, 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 to make sure it's the right thing. But it needs more work. It needs to be looked at a little bit more other than that though the concept is really great i can't bash it for the concept the concept is good i like the music um the graphics i, I suppose the graphics are okay it's old old school style within the game i mean on this screen at the moment it's all you know it, it reminds me a bit of the sims to be honest let's face it it looks like the sims uh i mistook that guy's uh, shirt for a plum bob for a moment there but you do need a few more different art styles, perhaps. It means extra work for you, the developers, so I'm sorry about that. But I think you guys need a little more time. Um, just to let this game reach its full potential, shall we say. Will I play this game again? Yeah, okay, I'll give it another shot. I'm not entirely sure when the next video will be out, but I really don't want to give up on this game. I want to give it another go and see how far it gets. But anyway, uh, thank you so, so, so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.